uh, unmute all of them and then mute that. What is up everybody? It is your boy Fry. Thank you once again for tuning in to another video man. Shout out notification squad. I hope you're doing well and thank you for the ongoing support we just hit 30,000 subscribers so that's pretty amazing i'll be doing a really cool uh, rap vocal preset pack giveaway with uh, stock plugins and that kind of thing maybe even some waves and that kind of thing as well so you know stick around for that man don't forget to smash that like button for today though because today we're going to be focusing on you know creating some cool background vocal effects uh, specifically editing like glitch effects and that kind of thing so i'll just play a piece of this track that i'm working on it's really cool but I'll just play the ending, we'll save this for a different video, the full vocal effect. But uh, yeah, I'll just show you the glitch effects and then what you can do hopefully to, you know what I mean, add some sauce to your sound. So if you're in that, stick around, make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let's get it. So pretty cool, right? A lot going on, um, but really it's just, it's pretty simple if you understand a little bit about FL Studio. So I'm going to be showing you how to really hack FL Studio. And obviously you can become uh, David Shorty times two after this. I'm more relaxed, you know what I mean? I like the more chilled vibes, but uh, you can do a lot with it. So let's just skip over to here, man. And what I'll do is I'll just play this again so you can really get an idea of what's going on. So obviously you can go absolutely crazy. I think over here we had a stutter. I actually got rid of the stutter. I didn't save um, before I reset my computer. So we'll just do something like this real quick. I think it would go right over here. So as you can see, we can do a whole lot, right? But basically the gist of it is that you want to first record a main vocal, obviously. So you can see what I've done is I've chopped up this, which is, uh, you can see it's pretty much exactly the same, right? As you can see, it's pretty much exactly the same, uh, the main vocal line. But what we have done this time around is I first uh, decided to chop it all up. So as you can see, um, I'm going to go uh, FL, uh, FL Studio Guru mode right here. I'm going to press the C button, okay? And that's going to open up my um, uh, cut selection tool or cut tool, right? Really, slice tool. It's called an FL Studio. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold in. You can just pay attention to this right section over here. I'm going to hold in Alt and Shift. And that's going to allow me to freely move my cut tool or slice tool within the grid environment. So as you can see, I'm holding in Alt and Shift. And then I can freely move my cut tool. As you can see, I can click anywhere that I would like. So if I would like to trim off that first part, I can then left click and hold. Obviously, I'm left clicking and hold. And holding and then i can let go and then it'll actually create a slice so that's pretty cool right uh, what i can also do then you know a lot of people are going to say whoa man you got this crossfade pro tool swag going on what are you doing that i'm not doing i got a full studio card mode installed and, and you know what i'm saying nah i'm joking what we really have going on is we're using the de-clicking mode which has been native to full studio for a very long time all you want to do is you know have your your clip selected and then you want to click generic i'm usually using generic uh in regards to vocal mixing because the smooth and all these other ones are a bit too aggressive for the type of editing that i'm trying to do so boom cool right so now that we have that man we want to obviously then click uh you know you know click on each region we want to chop up as you can see i've chopped up pretty much every single word of this um kind of uh lyric right so after that what i would then begin doing is i want to right click oh you can see i have a named one um, actually that's good so you can actually get an idea and you can see that that's number seven so one two three four okay for some reason it's seven but yeah <laughs> um basically what you want to do is once you've chopped up everything right you want to then go and right click on the top left corner of the clip and then you want to click make unique and if it has been um divided up so for example this one once i click this option is going to become unique so i'm going to do that with every single different clip and once i've done that the benefit of that is it's going to allow me to freely manipulate each and every clip as i would like to and that's where we can start doing our pitch shifting so if i left click here we can see right there i've pitch shifted this one i'm using the time stretching tool you could also use this pitch knob although i'm not too familiar with it it wasn't something that i kind of grew up using so i'm not really going to use that i'm going to use the old school pitch stretching or time stretching option and then from there on out we can start really laying out our um you know pitch shifting effects right so um you know one thing also just to um you know a little note to add is really to use a mode that you like now sometimes you know i actually haven't i've always gone for auto 
it seems to always work but uh, if we go for for example I think there's one for for speech so let's try this one right here and see what that sounds like it doesn't really sound that different auto is pretty much going to detect what the best you know what I mean um, stretching option is I don't know I'm not too good with uh, time stretching but you know there you go right so rinse and repeat do that for every single clip and then uh you know you can start doing your pitch shifting so if i kind of show you each one so that one's doing a full 1200 cents uh, up this one is going to be probably doing like 800 or 600 or something like that uh let's just see what that is 82 percent it's probably like 800 or whatever but i really don't go in like i won't pitch like for example you know like 1123 that's not going to sound good right Although it can, I'm probably going to avoid that because it doesn't fit in with the musical scale. So you want to really um, figure out, you know, the scale you're in. I don't know if that's going to work, but I just try it out. I go, for example, for 1,200, then I go for, for example, 1,000, and then 800, etc. So stick to kind of uh, numbers that make sense, maybe even uh, 1,200, 600, etc., etc. Do you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, from that point on, it's really your game. Then you can start doing whatever you want. But in the end, this is what I came up with. And let's just rename this because I got the O. Oh, Oh, I got the OCD and yeah. And as you can see, you can get really cool effects. You know what I mean? Uh, you can even pitch it downwards, and that's gonna give you the raw, the kind of dark voice. You know what I mean? So uh, it ends off with a bright one as well. Again, one thousand two hundred. And as you can see, I, I doubled them up, which wasn't really part of the plan, but it just sounded cool. And this one is just a chop up of each word. So if I was to just uh, unmute all of them and then mute that. So pretty cool, right? You can do a whole lot with your um, uh, glitching and pitch shifting and that kind of thing. I hope you make use of this. I hope you make some really cool tracks with the NFL Studio or with an Ableton or whatever. Obviously, the same theory applies. You just need to learn how to chop up clips, make them unique. I think FL Studios is unique in the in respects that um, you actually have to make them unique. You can't just chop up a clip in Pro Tools. Once you duplicate a clip and then pull it upwards, it's automatically unique because it's a new track now. Um, and then obviously all processing happening on the track is going to affect the clip. So it's a bit different, but uh, that's how you do it in FL Studio. I hope you learned something. Definitely check out the links in the description, man, for all sorts of cool stuff. Vocal recording course, vocal mixing course, and my vocal enhancer and digital preamp um, that you can use within FL Studio. The courses are definitely going to help you up your game when it comes to recording and mixing in FL Studio. We've got a whole lot of people now, and I'm proud of everyone. Shout out to everyone um, that, you know, message me on Instagram and say, you know, starting a studio or whatever. That's amazing. So, yeah, man, I'll check out next time. Uh, definitely don't forget to smash like. And have a good day. Peace out.